Hey, how's it going? Doing another little episode of Driving with DeVoe. Probably the first one for this school year. And um, people have been asking me, like, where's the video to start the school year? It's, it's been a hectic start to the school year. So we're about a month in now. I think this is week five. So I figured I would share some thoughts. And uh, shout out to those who, uh, you know, watch these videos and, and come back and speak to me. I, I didn't realize there were so many people watching and, uh, you know, it makes me feel good to hear people say they watched the video and inspire me, encourage me to uh, make more. So let me start off, you know, as I start this school year is uh, saying I want to acknowledge my privilege and the blessing, you know, being a New York City school teacher that during that pandemic, you know, I know a lot of people lost wages, workload, lost their whole job. And I got my paycheck, you know, twice a month, every month throughout the pandemic. Not through a favor. I was working. We were doing a hybrid. We were doing remote. But I do want to respect the fact that uh, a lot of people weren't able to do their jobs remotely. And so um, I learned, you know, a lot of times through the years, I've been doing this for a while. This is year 29. Sometimes we've always found the faults, you know, the critiques you know, things aren't perfect in education, but I do want to respect the fact that um, I'm thankful that I did have a job that I was able to do remotely and continue to get paid during that horrible pandemic. With that, the start of the school year, I gotta say, I, I blessed it went, it went pretty well, man. This is a good start to the school year. You know, I heard about some other schools where things are not going so well. But here at our school, I gotta say, I got freshmen, you know, they came in here. So these are freshmen that many of them were sent home, well, I guess March, end of their seventh grade year, were, were remote their whole eighth grade year, and now just coming back to high school in a new building than they left a year and a half ago. And I, I gotta say the adjustment and the time was smoother than it could have been. And so I, I'm appreciative of that. And shout out to my staff for taking time during the pandemic to do a lot of professional development around social emotional learning. You know, understanding that um, these students are going to be coming in with all types of different situations or the trauma, how they dealt with that. And um, even though all the teachers may not have, you know, liked it at the time or understood the benefits, I think that work that we did, um, talking about social emotional. Uh, talking about racial justice and, and how our different students may be viewing the world through the lens of their own family and community. I know that work stays with you and it comes through, you know, in our education, how we um, how we teach. So I think that's uh, super important. Uh, I will say as a city for New York City, a little bit disappointed that we didn't take this opportunity to uh, be more innovative and try something different. It seemed like the um, it seemed like the call to arms was let's just get back to normal. Let's just get back to normal. Let's get back to normal. As if normal was so great. You know, um, two years ago, you know, 2019, you know, before we got sent home for the pandemic, there was problems in education. There was situation. There was overcrowded classrooms. Right? There was problems with the testing in the regions and there was a lot of problems. And to pretend that no problems existed before the pandemic and the best we can do is just get back to quote unquote normal before the pandemic. As a system, I, I think we failed. You know, things are going well in my school. Things are going well in my classroom. But there's been issues in education since I started back in 1993. And there was always the trouble where, oh, there's no money, there's no time, they'll be just disruptive. And here, in the midst of this horrible, tragic pandemic, we were afforded an opportunity to come back and try something new, to try something different. You know, as, as horrible as the pandemic was, we actually solved our class size problem because some students were remote. And some students were still coming to the school in a hybrid model. And um, so we didn't have oversized classrooms. And it was a challenge teaching some students remotely, some students in front of you. There were challenges there, but it was an opportunity to learn new things. 
and I learned a lot of I learned a lot of using different uh, platforms to teach online Google Classroom Delta Math Edpuzzle Desmos you know and I just think it was disappointing to hear you know the leaders of the education in this city the best they could come up with is just get back to normal as if normal was good it didn't have their own trouble so now what do we have overcrowded classrooms again you know schools having the same problem still this situation with regents right it, it was you guys whew, I can't express this I know some people will watch this video who aren't from New York City you know I got friends down south and all still teach and so we have these regents in New York State that say a student can pass all their classes a student can do everything we ask of them for four years but if they don't pass these five state tests they don't get a diploma they don't graduate now just think about how crazy that is just just pause and think that for four years a student could do everything you ask them to do they could pass every class for eight semesters four years of school and then maybe they pass three regions but no you didn't pass five so you don't get a diploma what kind of stupidness is that who does that benefit it's certainly not benefiting the children the teachers we get our same check whether they pass or not so the only person this hurts is the children the test people still making their money and I think that's what it comes down to somebody told me a long time ago if you're trying to figure out things that you don't understand follow the money trail now, I realize the testing in New York State is big business and do you know most of the states in the country don't even have these barrier tests it's like a New York thing I think it's only a handful of states maybe two or three that have a test that says a student can pass four years of high school every class but if they don't pass this test we won't give them diploma that ignorance only I won't say only in New York State but I don't think there's more than a handful of cities that would do something that crazy it's so disrespectful to children so that, that was disappointing and it was a pleasure and a joy to teach children that last year despite the hybrid and it was a lot of problems with the hybrid I'm not saying that's perfect but the fact that we didn't have to worry about that regents that we could just teach the children we could take time to do stuff that spoke to the children's needs we were able to talk about different things in mathematics we did projects around Hispanic mathematicians, Asian mathematicians, black mathematicians, female mathematicians. All these things we were able to bring into the classroom and give this holistic experience to the students because we weren't rushed where we got to get through this curriculum for the regions. It just made me think like what was really valuable about education? Because the students did learn. I'm looking at my students now, people are like, oh, it was just a year off, the kids are going to be miserable. My students have learned stuff. I have students with skills. I was like, okay, okay, shout out to you eighth grade teachers teaching remotely because you sent me some ninth graders that are on top of their game. And, and, and this lie that they try to pretend, hybrid wasn't perfect. A lot of students did fall off. But there were students who were successful too. And we got to respect their story. And we also got to talk about students able to learn without having to have a barrier test a regents that prevents them from graduating when we do everything we ask them as ask them to do as teachers so um yeah that was a little bit of a rant i am disappointed that our mayor and our chancellors didn't come back try to be a little bit more innovative the chancellor did say something about social emotional learning so i'm glad that they are respecting that on a city-wide scale i think that'll benefit all the children as well as the adults and staff but um i gotta say it was a good start i feel good i appreciate it and i realize i do have love for this profession because i miss those kids you know when you first came back and the kids want to give me pounds in the hallway can't do the hugs like we used to but you know give them a little fist pound and it was a joy to be back in their presence and so i realize how fortunate i am to be able to do 29 years now in a career that i love and um you know not too many more probably do about five six more and it'd be time to retire so that's the driving with DeVoe for today uh, that's how I felt about the start of the school year a lot of other issues we could talk about later but um, I wanted to give that shout out now that we're one month in the school and I'll talk to you again soon take care